Hey everybody, it's Andrew Kayser with andrewkayser.com. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to connect to a database with PHP. Really simple process and, you know, a lot of people are just figuring it out. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to create two files. We're gonna create a configuration file to store all the, the database name, the username, the database password, and the database host. We're gonna store that in variables include it into any other file that we want and then connect to the database on the separate file so what I'm going to show you now is the config.php just we're going to go ahead and open up our PHP tags and let's go ahead and define the variables now a, a good practice is always to be very clear as to what you're defining in your variables uh, one of the worst habits I developed when I was getting into programming was creating short variable names and it, it just made my life a nightmare. So we're going to go ahead and spell these all out and we'll, we'll say database name equals, we'll use database username, database password, and then a database host. Now we know that the host is going to be localhost. It might not be for you, but it probably is. Our password, I'm going to use the temp pass123 and the database username. Really simple in this video. I set it up to be user. You know, you, you'll have to create your own database. Again, I've made a video on that a few days ago, so you can check that out. I'll put a link right above me and so then the database name is also whatever you name your database I named mine DB so we're gonna go ahead and save that let that upload to the server and now and the file that you want to connect to the database with I don't have any page already set up so I'm going to create a new one I'm not gonna really do anything with it but I am going to at least connect to the database. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you include that config file that you just did. So, you know, real simple the include function, the name of your configuration file. And so now the variables will be passed from this file database name, username, password, and host are all now usable in this file. So with the MySQL connect function, you're just going to supply those variables so that you can connect to the proper database. So we'll go MySQL connect, and the first attribute or, yeah, okay. The first thing you want to supply to the, the, the function is the database host. If you remember, our variable name was database host. Uh, put a comma, then we're gonna give it the database username comma database password now to make sure that everything is going correctly we're gonna get, we're gonna throw in a or clause we're gonna say or die could not connect to database this basically lets us know that something was wrong with the actual connection to the database now if we pass if, if we connect to the database, our next step is going to be to select the database that we want to access. And you do that with the MySQL select DB function. So MySQL underscore select underscore DB. And we'll supply the argument of database name. And now, again, we can do the same thing here with or die could not select database. Now what basically so if it if it connects to the data if it connects to the database we'll be able to select it but if it fails to select the database if the name is wrong or anything like that it'll die out saying could not select database. So let's say we do connect the next step is going to be printing out whatever else we have on our page since I don't have anything I'm just gonna echo all high 
but this is usually when you would you know select information from your database and I'll make a video about that too coming up um, you know you can you can start displaying results or, or any other kind of information that you have stored in your database but at least for now that this will show us that we are connecting to a database and we're selecting the database properly and we are getting to the echo high line which is on line 8 okay so connect.php and there we have it we are connecting through just to uh, show you how it would look if you erred out let's put these in the wrong order you know if you put it username password and then host obviously you're going to get this error mysql connect unknown mysql server host user you know that's that's my username it's supposed to be supplied second and so uh, that's that's just how it and then you then you see the could not connect to database error which we supplied so that's that's basically it if you're if you're not doing it correctly you will see the errors if if not if if everything works smoothly you're good to go and i will see you on the next video thanks a lot for watching guys have a great day thanks andrewkaiser.com peace out